guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I've decided to do something a little bit different. So this is going to be a pick a card reading. This is all going to be about your life one year from now. So we'll be getting a glimpse of every area of your life, your love life, your career, your friendships, your family, your finances. We're going to be going all through it and see how it will unfold. So because this is new to my channel, I'm just going to explain a little bit of how it works. So here we've got four piles, pile one, pile two, pile three, and pile four. So I want you to take a moment and to just look at each pile. You can pause the video if you like. And I want you to find the pile that you are most drawn to. So choose the pile that you feel pulled to. Now, if you would like to choose the pile with crystals, I'm going to place some crystals underneath the cards now. Okay, so this crystal is called amethyst. This one is rhodonite, this one is clear quartz, and this one is pyrite. So again, I'm going to give you a few moments to choose which pile you want to choose. And then once you're done choosing your pile, I want you to go down to the description box where you'll find the relevant timestamp for your reading. So, so you don't have to watch the whole video, you can just skip to your personal reading. So let's get started and read pile one. Hello group one, so this is your general reading. So we're going to uncover what's going to happen in your life within the next year and where you're going to be a year from now. So let's uncover the first few cards. Okay, so we have the hanged man, the seven of wands and also the chariot card. So this card, it's mainly designated towards waiting and suspension. So this suggests that this might be the thing that you need to do in order to achieve some success or to wait for an appropriate opportunity. It also is about looking at things from a different perspective. So if you're currently in a situation um, and you feel stuck, so you, you may need to just step out of your current situation and look at it from a different angle um, and just wait for the right time to take action and make a decision rather than just jumping in straight away and make rational decisions. So this is just simply saying to be patient and to pause for a little while and think about your options before making that final choice. So this could be in your love life, in your career, in your finances, your friendships, it could be in any area of your life. So it's telling you to just simply not jump in straight away and throw yourself in at the deeper end. So it's more like rather contemplating about what your next move is. So this is where we move on to the Seven of Wands. Now this card represents challenges and obstacles because as you can see the, the man in the middle is trying to fight all the wands around him. He feels stuck. So you might be fighting through something currently or you are about to fight something and you're going to try and get through the situation. But you need to hold your ground and to fight your corner no matter what the challenge is. So if you're in a relationship right now, you will have some challenges that you're, you're going to face. And with the hanged man, this is saying that you need to pause and to think about things rather than making hasty decisions that you later might regret. So the challenge might come from either one of you or it could also suggest that it could come from a third party. So this could be friends or family, um, they could interfere with your relationship or they don't approve of your relationship, or they have a different belief system to you and your partner. So these external factors will put pressure on your relationship and it will be hard work for some time, but you, you need to stand your ground and for what you believe in and just hold your own. Um, yeah, and just be determined and not let any others come between you and ruin your relationship because you're capable of solving any issues that may arise. And if you're single, this suggests that if you're interested in somebody, you will have to fight for them. So there may be a lot of competition from other people uh, and you may feel overlooked, you may be overlooked. Uh, but again, we come back to the hanged man. So you need to think about whether you actually want to be with this person and to have a relationship with them. Instead of seeing it as a race, so if it's of seeing it as a race because other people are wanting to be with this other person, um, you need to pause and to just be patient. And if this is related to your career, you will have challenges that come up in your work. So people could be envious of your position um, or something like that, but you need to embrace your confidence and 
just continue with your work as you usually would. And then we move on to the chariot card. And this is all about overcoming challenges and gaining victory through controlling of your surroundings. So, you know, this just... This is perfect because this shows that you're going to be having some challenges and obstacles. And here, it shows that you are going to end up overcoming the obstacles. So this is exactly why I said you need to stand your ground and hold your ground and stand for what you believe in because things are going to get better for you. So you will go for a sticky patch, but everything is going to work out just fine as long as you use your strength and willpower because there's going to be obviously some obstacles that come in your path. So the chariot's message is to make you stronger as you progress forward. It's the, it's the time to take the wheel, take the driver's seat, and take action and move forward in your life. Um, this can be in any area of your life at all. So when this card appears, you know that you know your destination, you have clarity of where you want to be and what you want, and you'll be focused on getting there. So, but you just need to go through the obstacles first. So now I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put down the three next cards. So we have the Seven of Wands, again. We have the Hermit, and we have the Sun. Well, this is interesting. It's just exactly what I said. Um, so we've got a lady Elijah. We've got a lot of major arcana cards here, which means that you're going to experience big life-changing events that will have long-term effects. So when you've got the minor arcana, they're like daily, daily um, things that happen to you. But these big ones here suggest life-changing events that will have long-term effects on you. Um, and they're also, they also mean that they're going to be some really life lessons that you're going to be learning along the way. Also, when we see sevens, it's because you've got two sevens here. This usually indicates that it's time to step back and introspect. So the sevens ask us to assess and to reevaluate whether the path that you think you want to take is actually the best option for you. So sometimes this can be a lonely pursuit, but this period is definitely needed in order to go forward. So again, with the seven of wands, you will definitely experience some challenges and obstacles ahead. And down here, this says, I actively hold true to my values. So, but you will fight through them. Even though you go through obstacles and your challenges, you'll get through them. And with the sun here, this says, I am optimistic and appreciate all that I have. So this says you will get through it. You will go through this and you'll get out on the other side in a positive way. And the sun is such a beautiful positive card. It's full of bright colours. Now, with the hermit in between, this says that you're going to need some time alone. So this is a positive, but it will give you a chance to reflect on things as it could help clear your mind and give you more clarity. Um, especially because you've, you're going to have some troubled times, like I said before, if you're in a relationship um, and you're having some disagreements or someone's trying to interfere, this might get a little bit too much for you. Uh, so you'll need to spend some time alone to reflect on things and you'll end up seeing things a lot clearer. Or you will both need to think about your relationship and whether it can move forward in a positive and happy, happy way. So if it's with your work, you may be spending some time thinking about your career and whether that's what your true purpose is. So you might have to reflect on what work you want to do. The Hermit may also refer to your effort in taking action that's authentic and aligned with your true self. You may feel as though um, the path that you're on at the moment is not really working for you. You might not feel fulfilled in what you're doing. So you'll need some time to reflect and to really think about what path that you want your life to go down. Uh, but once you've gone through all the challenges, you spent some time to reflect the Sun card is a beautiful, positive energy. It's full of warmth, it's full of joy, it's full of happiness, and feeling really good about yourself. Um, like the Sun itself, when we, when we feel the Sun, it gives you strength and vitality. Uh, there's so much joy and happiness that's coming to you because of this card. And because of your own personal fulfillment, you provide others with inspiration and joy as well. So people will be drawn to you because they will see your warm and positive energy just shining through you 
and it will bring them some sunshine into their into their lives as well. Your relationship will be blossoming, bringing the two of you closer together as you enjoy and spend your time together. And after the ups and downs in, in between here, um, there's likely going to be harmony. So it will work out in the end. And you know, this is going to create even a closer and stronger connection for you both. So yeah, this is a really good sign. And if you're single, uh, now is the time to step out and to let yourself shine. You know, you spent some time to reflect on what you want, um, and now is the time to move forward onto something better. Your positive and radiance will be magnified, um, and you'll attract the kind of person, the romantic person that you dream of. Um, so when it comes to your career, the sun brings success and optimism and joy wherever it shines. So you, you may end up experiencing a period of enthusiasm and inspiration, motivation, um, but it, and it will lead to happiness. Whatever job you're, you're going to be doing, what business you're going to be doing, it's definitely going to bring you a lot of happiness and fulfillment around your work. Okay, so we're going to move on to the next three cards, which are... We have got the Sisterhood of the Rose. This says beauty and devotion, a priestess, mystic teacher. Okay, the second one is get grounded, empaths, highly sensitive, connect with nature. And then the third one is transformation. Things are changing at a cellular, cellular level, deep healing. Okay, so that is uh, very good as well. It's all just linking together. Okay, let's just straighten these up. What I'm seeing from these cards is that the Sisterhood of the Rose, this means that you are being called to notice all the beauty around you, uh, particularly in nature, you know, outside when you go outside. And it's also calling you to spend some more time in nature. So whether you're currently, you don't really go out for walks and stuff or spend time in nature, this is telling you that you should spend more time admiring all the beautiful things that you see around you. And to also contribute to the beauty of the world yourself in your own way. So this could be through your creativity uh, or in little things like adding flowers or plants to your home because you know, that always it makes me happy when I add plants to my house anyway. Um, so this could be a time when you're, you're having some time to yourself, when you're reflecting upon things, so it comes back to the hermit. So you could do that, you could go out into nature and to just reflect upon things and, and you'll end up getting more pl clarity when you're outside. And the next card also relates, it's just so strange how, how these, come, these come together. So this one's get grounded and it's just about that. It's about getting grounded and feeling grounded because, you know, it's obviously, it's easy to get swept up in other people's energies and problems and just mistake it for your own. So as you start to absorb energies around you, you start struggling to define what's their energy, what's your energy. Uh, and because this card has been pulled, it's most likely that you are an empath, you're an em empathic, empath empathic person or a highly sensitive person which makes sense um, as to why you need some space on your own so you can fill your own cup because you know you can't work you can't help any other, anybody else if your own cup isn't filled you can't pour from an empty cup so you need to ensure that your own well-being is is, is being replenished before you can start helping anybody else uh, and this brings me back to the sun when I said that People will be drawn to you because of your, your, your beautiful magnetic energy and you know that and they see you as an inspiration so it, it links to the future what you're going to be in a year from now you know people will just see your radiant energy and they'll just be drawn to you. you you will always need to make sure that your own vibration and energy is high and to try and not let anything that happens you know all these challenges and obstacles try not to let them get too much to you and to just get grounded and an amazing way to actually get grounded is to to be in nature so this is why it's saying that you need to you know spend some time in nature and, and appreciate the beauty around you um, you know you could put your hands on a tree uh, you could sit in the grass you could feel some flowers smell some flowers you could hear the birds singing you could take in some deep breaths in in the uh, in the nature um, 
you know, you could walk barefoot and feel the grass in between your toes. This will just make you feel really good inside and your energy, it will shift your energy, it will be replenished and your cup will start filling full of all that energy. And now for this transformation card, transformation? Transformation card. A year from now, you are not going to be where you are right now currently in 2020 you're 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 happy and joyous um so whatever you end up doing here you need to keep doing it continue doing that because this is where you're going to be transforming and you'll continue to transform as well so so much is happening in your your inner world and it's time to release the old ways because they're obviously not working they're getting too much for you and this is probably what you're experiencing right now in 2020 or you're just about to in the near future uh, and then you'll end up transforming a year from now because a rethreading is happening here you're you're healing at the deepest levels and things will really get great for you oh this i'm so happy for you this is amazing this is okay so now i'm going to do our final two cards so let's get those okay so we have purity and we have inner child. Okay, so the purity card, this says an affirmation or something underneath. Always trust in the purity of your heart. Look inside the heart and within, and within it, you will find the answers to your questions. And this inner child says, the fairies of playfulness remind you to make time to embrace your inner child. Playing keeps us young at heart. Do something silly and fun, but stay safe. Okay, so what this is saying is that with the purity card, this means that it's time to look inside your heart to find any answers that you may be trying to find. So right now, or very soon, when you're going through these challenges and obstacles, it might be saying that you're wrapped up in your thoughts and to transfer the the purity of your heart to your mind. So when you're in your reflective mode, when you're, you know, the, coming back to the hermit, when you're reflecting and you're spending some time alone, you need to seek the answers from within your heart and trust your intuition and trust that you're making the right decisions. And with the inner child, this is tr simply saying that you need to have fun and enjoy yourself. So when you, you've gone through this transformation stage, you will end up enjoying life and you'll end up having fun. And it's telling you not to forget to have fun and enjoy yourself because it's easy to get caught up in everyday routine, you know, in life and challenges. And that's okay as long as things are balanced in your life. You know, you don't want all work, no play, no time to enjoy yourself and to enjoy the things that you love doing. So spend time. So it's all about balance. So if you set yourself some time to do the things that you love doing, you'll find that you'll be more energized, you'll be more happy inside, and you will live generally just a, a better life. So overall, you, you're going to go through a challenging time, but you've got, you're going to hit some obstacles, but then you're going to go through them. You're going to heal. You're going to reflect upon things and consider where you want to go in life. And you'll spend some time reflecting before you make that final decision because the, remember the hanged man is saying that you need to pause and you need to think about things before you make that final choice. So you need to tune into your heart. You need to think about where you want to be this time next year. And you need to heal yourself. You'll, you'll end up transforming and things will end up getting better for you. So in fact, they're going to be absolutely amazing. Once you've gone through all these troubles, you go through the healing process, things will be absolutely amazing and you'll feel a sense of fulfillment in your life. So that is your reading, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. If you enjoyed this reading, then hit the thumbs up and click subscribe down below if you're not already subscribed to me. And I will see you very soon in another video. Bye. Hi, group two. So this is your general reading. So I'm going to place the first few cards down right now. Okay, so we have the Nine of Wands, the King of Swords, and the Knight of Cups. So, when we get the Nine of Wands, this symbolizes great hope. Even if you're faced with many problems that may threaten you to go off balance and to lose your balance, uh, this card symbolizes that 
you've gone through many trials before and through your determination you're you was able to, able to overcome them however it says that you're also going to still see more trials that you may face uh, in the near future but also this card is a sign of hope and encouragement um, that even if you do face these challenges you know you've got the courage and you will reach success in the end so in your career perhaps you are currently your, your workload is really heavy recently or it's just about to get really heavy but you've got faith that it's going to end up lightening up um, and this card could, could also mean that a person has betrayed you and has now became untrustworthy to you so or, or someone might have even uh, betrayed you in the past and now you've lost trust in anybody that you meet uh, but with the king of swords next this means that you have become detached because of the the past betrayal or the current betrayal so you become detached and you know you've just lost trust in people so you need to leave your emotions out of the equation when you're making decisions you need to be you need to make a rational decision and not think of your emotions there's always hope with this card. The outlook is about to change. It will change. Um, someone or something may come into your life. You will, and and they will change your whole perspective, and change your whole view of the past struggles that you've you faced. So, if you're single, you might be finding it difficult to move on from the past relationships that you've had because they've previously hurt you and really hurt you bad that you've. Put your guard up and you won't let anybody in because you simply just don't trust anybody anymore if you're in a relationship you recognize that the the love you want um the love that you dream of having it will it will require a lot of work hard work and sacrifice and it will need the both of you you and your partner you will have to adapt and to work through your problems as a team and you will need to do it through a lot of communication and you will have to adjust things in order for it to work. But, you know, this is hope. So it's telling you to keep going no matter what. You're through the worst. You just need some strength. You need some courage to push you forward, which will get you to where you want to be. So now we move on to the Knight of Cups. And this comes up in a lot of love readings, which is making me trying to think that this is about relationships. Um, so this is obviously a knight coming to you with a cup filled of love and when it's coming to make a decision the knight this knight always listens to his heart so you know whether it's a logical choice or not he will go for his heart always follow his heart and this is why the king is appearing as well because it's, it's telling you to not just follow your heart to actually make a rational decision because of what's happened to you in the past um, so yeah you just need to look at things from a different perspective so now I'm going to place down three more cards. Okay, we have got the Page of Cups, the Knight of Cups, and also the Page of Wands. So the Page of Cups says, I am young as I choose to feel. The Knight of Cups says, I know that the right person waits until I am ready. And the Page of Wands says, I am always open to good news. So we've got this Knight of Cups again. Something about love, you're going to have really good love, I think, by the looks of this. And there's also a lot of court cards. So yeah, a lot of court cards here. And also a lot of cups, uh, which represent promotion. And because we've got ones as well, this represents growth and inspiration. So I feel that you're going to go through an emotional stage this year, uh, whilst your, your head and your heart are conflicting with each other. But at the end, you will have the motivation and inspiration to want to be able to grow and to not stay stagnant in the situation that you're currently in or just about to be in. Okay, we've got the Page of Cups here. So he signifies the beginning of a creative project or a venture. It's an indication that there's creative energy inside you trying to burst out. Um, this card can also mean a positive message coming to you or some good news from loved ones. So you might hear about a birth of a child, it might even be your child, um, an engagement, a marriage, 
a wonderful new idea, a pregnancy, a camera went off then. Um, yeah, so a pregnancy, a new relationship, some travel plans. Um, this is a really positive message. It's unexpected, you don't expect to have it, but it's welcomed um, and you're likely to respond to the news with a lot of emotions. So these cups, it's going to be really emotional for you. Um, one of the most important meanings with the Page of Cups is that you should be open to new ideas, especially ones that stem from your intuitive inspiration. You know, trust your gut. You always have to tr trust gut feelings. Inspiration that you have, you should embrace it, despite it being something that you might not expect. You should always just trust your gut and to just go for it. Because it could lead you to, to new adventures, new opportunities, new doors being open for you. So listen to your intuition. Follow your calling and believe that everything and anything is possible for you. So in love, if you are in a relationship already, you might be looking at it with fresh eyes and you might have a new a newfound appreciation for the part, some parts of your partner that you, you didn't see before. So after you've been through the hard work uh, that showed up in the Nine of Wands, your relationship will end up coming out stronger. So you might drop your guard a little bit and realise that this person that you're with isn't like your past relationships. He or she is completely different, they're a completely different person, you know, they're not your past relationships. And if you're single, your approach to love can be like a childlike fascination, you're really fascinated um, about everything about romance and potential partners. Um, and because we've got the Knight of Cups, again, twice, this is saying to me that if you're with someone right now, he's your knight in shining armor, or she's your knight in shining armor, um, because you know it's appeared twice. Twice in one reading it's appeared. Um, and this also represents that the person is very loyal in a relationship. Um, they devote all their love to their partner. Um, if you're starting a new relationship, this is also a really, really good sign. It's, it shows that the person that you're about to, to be with or are just starting to see is really good for you and it's exactly who you need. Um, if you're single, the Knight of Cups is a sign that new love is coming to you, it's on his way and he or she is going to be a really good fit for you. So this is a positive love sign. The Knight of Cups is generally, 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 it's about love. As I said before, it comes up in a lot of love readings. Um, so. But this this could also mean um, a new job offer or represent good news, a new adventure, something with very high energy that lifts you up to an exhilarating state. So overall, this is a good sign and shows that even though you have had some issues in the past or even at present in 2020, you know, good things are going to come into your life. The page of wands... This could be on the verge of a creative discovery or a new stage in your life. And it simply means that something is within you, something that triggers you to make new discoveries and to take the next step in your life. You could just be about to take action on a certain idea that you've had. Um, however, there's going to be some conflicting messages coming to your mind. And because of these conflicting messages, um, you might get a little discouraged. So. This card resembles your inner battles inside you, which probably just prevents you from expressing your talents to the world. You might not have uh, much confidence uh, in your talents. So, you know, this card is just saying to let the world know. Let the world know that you exist. You know, you're here for a reason. And if you've got some talents, if you've got some inspiration, just show them to the world. Let the world know you're there. So... Yeah, if you've got any ideas, just let them shine and be known to the world because this card, the Page of Wands, it indicates um, a level of success that can only be achieved through courage. So you need to have some courage. You need to gain your confidence and to just show everybody, show the world your talents. Now, with the Page of Wands and the, and the Page of Cups, you're definitely going to get into creative mode. 
Yes, definitely. And you know, your creative juices are just going to be flowing in the next year. Uh, but again, you need to trust your intuition. You need to have belief in yourself that you are going to succeed at it. So if you have currently got some talents and if you're sitting on the fence of not knowing whether to pursue them or not, this is telling you that you should. You need to trust your intuition and to just go for it because this is going to lead to some great opportunities and you know, just don't sit on the fence, just go for them. Okay, so in love, uh, if you are single, you'll find yourself um, being excited to meet new people and to explore going new places when it comes to love and romance. Um, if you're in a relationship, um, you're going to be willing to try new things as a couple. So you might um, try new hobbies together, you might go to the gym together, uh, go to classes together, take up new adventures. So this is about coming together and you're going to really enjoy spending time with one another, doing new things. Um, in your career and work, it might mean that you're about to enter a new position or take up a new project. Um, but in, in either event, this card, it's a good sign. It signals that success and contentment will follow in the period of next year. So by the end of next year, you're going to have success and contentment. So I'm going to move on to our next cards. Okay, so we have birthing a new age. I think these cards are so pretty with the pink. Um, this says birthing new creations, dreaming a new world into beginnings, into being, see, new creations. Exactly what I just said. Uh, trust the niggle. What is the niggling feeling trying to tell you? And answer the call. What is your soul calling you to do? Okay. Again, this one. It's all about creativity. So, you know, this, this and this is telling you. You have definitely got some talents, creative talents that you, you need to pursue. Um, you know, a new world is being opened up to you. It's what I said, it could lead to new doors being opened, new opportunities. So this is 100% telling you that you, if you haven't thought of something already that you want to do, it's going to happen very, very soon. You're going to come up with some creative ideas of what you want to do in life. Um, so you should definitely pursue them and be prepared. Be, feel prepared to take the journey. Um, you know, obviously I think... You, you, you're anxious, you, you're scared of, of showing the world, maybe because of people's opinions and stuff, um, and fear creeps in, but this is because, you know, you're in your comfort zone right now, and it's, it's normal to feel those things when you're in your comfort zone, but you need to think of the bigger goal, think of where you want to be in the future, you know, a year from now, um, and the opportunity that lies ahead, ahead of you and to, to just feel the fear, be courageous, take the step and do it anyway. And this is the process of um, allowing old cycles to just fall away and for new ones, a new phase of your life to, to rise and to begin. So you might even start a new business, you know, a creative business if you are an artist or something like that. Uh, this might be saying that for you to start your own business and to work for yourself. You might be leaving your nine to five job and setting up as an entrepreneur uh, with all these ideas that you've got in your mind. Because obviously starting your own business is very, it's a very fearful, fearful time. Uh, but if your intuition is telling you that this is the way to go, what, no matter what it is, this is definitely the way for you to go. This is a sign that you need to take the step. You need to realize that everything that no longer serves a purpose to you, you need to just get rid of that. Use your intuition as a guide and take on these new opportunities that are just being laid in front of you, uh, which are more aligned to, to actually what you really want um, because that's going to lead to a better future. If you do take your intuition, be creative uh, and take on the inspiration and just go for it. Now, if we refer back to the Nine of Wands, when, when you, you felt like you lost trust or hope, this could be a part of what's holding you back right now uh, because the fear of failure, because perhaps things haven't worked out for you in the past. Um, but that doesn't mean that just because it didn't happen before, 
because you failed before, it doesn't mean that this one isn't going to be a success. Um, yeah, and I feel like that you probably need to do a lot of inner work so that you can shift your mindset into a more positive one so that it doesn't hinder you and stop you from taking the steps that you actually want to take in life because just because you're afraid and you're anxious of what might happen, you know, if you're afraid of failing, but failure is all a part of growth. So, you know, if you fail, you just end up learning lessons from it and you'll take them on board. Um, and then next time around, you, you will become a success because you won't make the same mistakes again. Um, and keep failing. This just makes you evolve and grow, continue to grow. Um, and just because something didn't work before, it doesn't mean it won't again. You just need to look at it from a different perspective, try different things, try new strategies. So failure isn't a bad thing. It's just all about learning some lessons and moving forward. Okay, so trust the niggle. Okay, so with this card, it's telling you to face things that are picking away at you, um, that annoying, niggling feeling, you know, niggling feeling that most people just spend years on ignoring, try to numb it out and pretend that it's not there. But until you face it, it's just going to keep coming back around. More bait will be thrown to awaken it even more. Um, and, it, and it'll just keep coming round and round and round until it's actually resolved. And the niggle is, is the arrow pointing to what's standing in your way and holding you back right now. Uh, it's, the, it's the relationship, it's the conversation, it's the decision to make, it's the career, it's the shift that needs to be made in your mind. This card is saying that you need to face that niggle now. And if you don't face it, the universe, 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 it will throw something much bigger your way and much more obvious in your path. It, it is scary, it is fearful, but like I said in the last card, we all have to step outside our comfort zone at some point in our life. So this year is going to be the time that you actually do that and you and you will move forward from it. And I, and I get the feeling that you hold yourself back quite a lot in a lot of areas of your life because you're afraid of failing, you're afraid of getting hurt, you're afraid of being judged. But once you face all of these problems, there's so much better out there. There's so much better that's going to appear in your life if you just get past this, if you get past the niggle. And then we move on to this card, answer the call. This means that you are in the right place at the right time and to answer your call. It might be scary, like I said before, it might be fearful. Um, it might not make sense yet, but you need to trust your intuition. And some people just wait around, you know, waiting for a step-by-step -step plan before they take the first step, before they go out their comfort zone. But you're not going to get anywhere by staying in your comfort zone. You will just keep finding excuses, you'll procrastinate, you will, you'll never leave there because it's nice and cosy in your little blanket. But you need to remember that you, you're not just anybody. And deep down, you know that you've got the courage you know that this is your calling and you're in the right place in the right time. You don't need a whole plan. You just need the first step. You need to know the first step. And the first step is having this spark of creation and inspiration. You know, this whole thing says that you are creative and you're inspired to do something or you soon will be. You want to do it, but it just holds you back right now. So, yeah, this is just telling you to embrace it and to just go for it. So I'm going to move on to our final two cards. Okay, we have lost and found and we have transformation. So lost and found says, what was once lost is about to be found. Thanks to lost and found fairy, sometimes she can help us find things we never realised we lost. And transformation says, this fairy tells you to surrender to a transformation in your life that's happening to your highest good. Embrace your transformation, the best is yet to come. So with this card, you might have uh, misplaced something. It could be materialistic, it could be a person, it could be a memory. It may be a reminder that it's okay to lose something sometimes and perhaps it's for the best and you didn't need it or need them anyway. So this is a, a card about a message about letting go. 
So this could be related to the past and things that are holding you back. You know, it's time to let go, it's time to heal so that you can move on to a better path. And then this transformation card, this card is to remind you that you're transforming and about to transform in the near future. So when we let go and surrender to the natural changes that occur in our lives, the process of transformation can be a beautiful thing. You know, just like a caterpillar transforming into a beautiful butterfly, just like this lady on here, she's turning into a butterfly, or a bud blossoming into a flower. I'm so happy that we finished with this card because it's confirmation that in a year's time, you're going to transform and your life is going to be completely transformed. You're going to go through emotions of dealing with issues that you experienced in the past, um, which may be affecting your current relationships right now, but you're going to get through them. And your partner is going to be by your side all the way. Um, because obviously, you know, it's a knight in shining armor, or, you know, if it's a lady, a knightess in shining armor. Um, but, you know, you're going to get through them. And because you're full of creativity, which has shown a lot in this reading, you've got so much more to give to the world. You want more from life and you will begin to realise that you've got so much more to give. Um, and this will happen because you're finally going to go through the transformation phase. So at this time next year, you will be in a completely different place, not just physically, but also mentally, emotionally. You know, it's just the perfect combination. So yeah, your life next year is going to be absolutely amazing. So I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, um, hit the like button and hit the subscribe button and I'll see you very soon in another video. Bye. Hi group three, this is your general reading. Um, I'm going to uncover the first few cards. So here we go. Okay, so we have the judgment card, the six of cups and also the 10 of cups. So with this judgment card appearing, it's it signifies that you're you're coming close to a significant point in your life um, when you you need to start evaluating yourself and you need to to make a life changing decision. So you will start to reflect on your life and you'll end up having more clarity of what you need to do and what you need to change. So this can also mean making small changes to your daily life, or it could also mean making big changes. Um, because the judgment card is a, a major arcana card, so that means big life-changing events. So it could be something big that not only affects you, but also it could affect people around you that are close to you. You're going to review and evaluate your past experiences and you've learned from them. Um, and all pieces of the puzzle are finally coming together to form one. So you'll be reviewing and evaluating all your past experiences, everything that's happened to you, and you will realize that you've actually learned from them and all the pieces of the puzzle come together and your life finally comes together um, to form one. You know, the, the, the deep wounds are healing and you're able to put the past behind you. So in love, now is the time to take a closer look at your love life and to figure out what needs to be changed. Um, issues in your love life that you once ignored, you might be able to see them clearly now and you have the chance to make adjustments keep communicating with your partner um, and keep it open and make sure that you're both aware of each other's needs um, yeah so in your in your career perhaps you found a new purpose or a calling uh, that can't be ignored the judgment card also signifies um, signals that you might need to be more aware about how your actions at the workplace are affecting other people so it's telling you to take some time out to evaluate how your, how your behavior has been and what needs to be improved. So take responsibility for your actions and accept your part in any conflicts that may have been brewing or that have happened. Because once you've done that, you will end up feeling a sense of satisfaction. So we move on to the, the Six of Cups. And this generally represents generosity, um, naive happiness and childhood. And it can stand for you wanting to return to a happy time previously, uh, whether that was when you was a child, as a teenager um, or a young adult. Uh, many times 
these memories are things of the past which reflect the the aspects of ourselves that have now vanished you might be feeling that the only way for you to feel happy is to remember these past memories um the, the six of cups appearing also seems like it's it, it's indicating that while you may look on the past with a happy eye you must avoid living in it if you're single this could indicate a, an ex an ex partner might be coming back into your life or if you're in a relationship and your partner you and your partner are in a stressful place or you're about to be in a stressful place looking back at great times that you spent together and perhaps reliving them this could bring you great comfort but you need to be be beware of living only in the past you know you need to live in the present for the future um let the past nourish you and bring you comfort you know there's always lessons to be learned um, and this will show you what you need to remain in your life and what you're actually happy to let go of. And I feel that with the judgment card appearing, you, you both might be feeling a little bit unhappy with the way things are at the moment. And this is why you start reminiscing about past memories in hope that you, they're going to bring you closer together. And the same scenario, if you're single and the ex does reappear, you might experience the same thing of reminiscing to happier times. Now, when it comes to your career, now, being my, now might be a good time to look back on the path that got you where you are now, that got you here. So this card can be a signal that your past work can hold some great lessons that you need to learn for building your future. You know, think back to what you did right and ensure that you're not repeating mistakes from your past. And you know, alternatively, this card can signal that you might be reconsidering your career path and perhaps returning to a position that you once left, you had before, because you've realised that you actually enjoyed your position there. So with the Ten of Cups, this is the card where all your dreams come true. All your dreams, your wants, your needs, they've been fulfilled and now you feel joy, contentment and emotionally satisfied, particularly in your relationships because obviously this is a, a family scenario so you feel particularly satisfied in your relationships and in your family life. This card also suggests um, long-term stability and also comfort. It could mean marriage, starting a family. Um, if you're single and you meet someone at this time, it's likely that the relationship that you enter, it will be a long lasting one. It will be for the long haul. The Ten of Cups is it's a really, really positive card for relationships. It encourages you to follow your heart and to trust your intuition in your career. This card can signify can signify a kind of comfort and belonging that you find from your current position. There's enough opportunity for growth and creativity um, and you don't need to worry about these aspects in your career. You, you might find a job that gives you comfortable work and life balance and you have the security of spending a good chunk of the time with your family so you know you're happy in your position because it gives you you know, a lot of time to spend with your family is quite a flexible job. So this is what's going to hold for you in the future. You're going to be content with your family, with your relationships and with your career and finances. So I'm going to place down the next three cards. Okay, we have the King of Swords. We've got the Five of Wands. And we've got the Four of Swords. Okay, with the King of Swords, this says, I trust my ability to make a strategic decision. The Five of Wands says, I stand my ground and look for peace. And this one, I take the time I need to rediscover my vitality. Okay, so with the King of Swords, when you're judging a situation, you need to consider all the possible consequences to make the appropriate judgment, the appropriate decision. So you're going to have to leave your emotions out of the judgment and to, to think rational at all times. The King of Swords, it means, you know, it suggests that you should take time to reason with others and be candid with the observations that you've made. 
Um, like with the judgment, when I said how your actions are affecting other people, this is where you need to accept your own behavior. If you've made mistakes or you've had some conflicts and you need to make amends with them because this card can also indicate that you're a great communicator, but you're a great communicator, but you can also be very opinionated. So it may come across um, that you're being blunt or harsh with people, um, and it may come off the wrong way with others. And the, the five of wands can suggest some conflicts arising. Uh, there might be some competition. So this could be a work scenario. If you're coming across in the wrong manner, like I said, if you're coming across the wrong way to your colleagues, this could lead to envy, jealousy, greed. Uh, this card encourages you to accept the competition as a way to, to continue to improve yourself and to you know use your great communication skills for the good because the King of Swords, he also brings hope and the outlook is about to change. So someone or something that might be coming into your life um, and it's going to change things for you. When you reflect, it can bring some light to the situation. So let's move on to love. And if you're in a relationship, you recognize that the love you want is going to require a lot of work and a lot of sacrifice as well. So there might be some conflicts in your relationship which shows up because this shows conflicts in the Five of Wands. Um, it's going to need both you and your partner to sit down, to talk, and to be willing to change things in your relationship and to work through any problems that you've got together as a team. Because if you don't do that, if you don't talk to each other, you are a great talker, you're a great communicator, but because you are a great communicator, you need to not dominate the conversation. You need to allow your partner to express herself or himself um, and to let them show how they feel as well. Be a team, communicate with each other and understand what each of you needs in order to keep going forward. It shows that you're through the worst you just need some strength to keep pushing forward and your, your relationship will end up being great. You want it to be in the future. Now with this card, the Four of Swords, this is all about resting and retreating and it's a period of growth. So this is you need to gain strength and some clarity in a quiet environment away from everybody, away from current situations and circumstances. It's time for you to reevaluate to organize and understand the priorities and this is going to help you to rejuvenate and to come out even stronger than you were before so this card indicates that it's time to gather new strength to pre prepare to face new challenges in your life uh, you've you've faced crisis after crisis after crisis and it's just wearing you out now so this is a time to rejuvenate and to prepare yourself for new challenges after getting away and everything. So if you're in love, if you're single, your excitement about your love life, it might lead you to push yourself to exhaustion. You might be trying too hard to impress someone or you've been trying or you've been going on different dates to try and find somebody that you truly want to be with. So this might have made you feel really drained. Um, but it's important to listen to your intuition and also your body and for you to just take it easy a bit, to just relax, spend some time on your own. Um, if you're already in a relationship, you can both benefit from taking some time out. You know, so, so you could take a holiday, you could spend some time with each other, but this also could indicate that the two of you need to be alone for a while. Now, this doesn't mean the end of the relationship or anything, but... You know, everybody, especially if you're an introvert, you know, you need some personal time. So this could also indicate that you should spend some time away from your partner in order to grow stronger. Now, in a career aspect, um, work might be very frustrating lately. You might have been putting off things for a long time and it's just built up and loads of stress and has overwhelmed you and it's been taking its toll on your body and also your mental health and emotional health so this is saying listen to your body and to just give yourself a break 
Okay, so our next cards are, we've got Star Mother. This says, how can you mother yourself? Then we've got Warrior Woman. Have you answered your deepest calling? And then we've got Deep Rep Replenishment, Retreat, Rest and Be Held. So this actually links to that one, doesn't it, to the Four of Swords. So with the Star Mother, this card indicates that you're more held than you possibly could even imagine. You, you might not think you've got it all together because of the stresses that's been happening in your life. Um, but it's telling you to, to, to understand that you're loved and you're cherished. Um, and even, you know, if you knew, you wouldn't be spending a second of your energy or, or your life just in worry or fear. But your capacity to love other people in the same way is limited to the capacity to love yourself. So this is why it's telling you to take some time out to, you know, to fill your own cup up and to treat yourself the, the same beautiful way that you treat other people. So take some time out alone. The previous card, it's saying rest, retreat rejuvenate and I feel that this is a sign to say that you will be alone at some point to reflect on things about certain situations and you'll just spend some time um, having a, a breather and to remind yourself that you know you, you are doing your best and to try and not carry all of the stresses and the worries all on your own you know you've got this and you can do it so with this warrior woman this means that you're here for a reason and to ask yourself have you answered your true calling because often our fears are the gatekeeper to our greatest greatest gifts so if you're feeling afraid at the moment or about to feel afraid what's needed is a little courage and courage comes from your heart so think of your fears as opportunities to expand and grow rather than thinking things that are holding you back and holding you hostage, if you look at your fears in a different light, you know, you'll, you'll end up being on the right track. And it might feel uncomfortable, but this is what happens when you step out of your comfort zone. But there's always better things on the other side of fear. And most of the time, this all starts with the story that you tell yourself. You know, we all do it in our minds and our thoughts. You tell yourself a story. So you just need to have some courage and to just not let your fears overtake you. So I'm going to put down the last three cards. So we have Moon Energy, Inspiration, and also Celebration. So Moon Energy, this says, surrender to the natural ebb and flow of life. If you're feeling confused, the fairy comes to calm emotions and reassure that the peace of mind is possible. Inspiration, be prepared as as you'll soon receive a visit from the fairy of inspiration. Come dusk or dawn, she'll call at any time. And then celebration says, get ready to let your hair down and celebrate. It's time to go out and dance and play. An invitation could be on the way. Okay, so straight away with the moon energy. This card appears when you've got too many thoughts. So like I just said, this is crazy how it just came out like that. Um, yeah, like I said, with your thoughts, um, and, and the story that you tell yourself and feeling confused about things. This seems like you'll go through a confusing time this year and you might feel stressed and overwhelmed um, by the situations that are occurring and, and you will need time to think about things and to discover what's really meant for you. So with inspiration, you know, actually these two cards are actually really positive. So inspiration this shows that new ideas will come to you out of nowhere maybe this is your true purpose calling so what is that you know your deepest calling so maybe that's linked to your true purpose and your calling it'll just come to you and this will be a time of reflection you know if these ideas actually resonate with you you should just you should go for it if they resonate with you and you feel passionate about it you should go for it and trust where it will lead to and take action upon it. Allow the inspiration to throw through, to flow through you. And this celebration card says it all as well. It's time to celebrate. You'll find the light at the end of the tunnel. It reminds you to celebrate. 
you know, you don't even need a reason to celebrate. You, you might have an invitation to a party and stuff. It's just about being alive. Being able to live is enough to celebrate. So overall, this next year seems like you will experience ups and downs. Um, you might have conflicts at work or with your partner. Um, an ex-partner might show up, which might cause arguments. Or if you're single, it shows that this time around, it could actually possibly be for the long term. Communication is going to be really key in resolving any issues that you're going to have this year. But not only for you to express your feelings, but you need to also listen to other people. So that's your partner, your friends, your family, your colleagues. You, you need to listen because you know, you're a good communicator, but you also need to take on board how they feel, how they think, what they're feeling, what they're thinking, um, and to just work it out together. And to just understand that it's going to, there's going to be hope at the end of here, at the end of the year, there's going to be hope, there's going to be celebration. The Ten of Cups is appearing, so the end result is going to be a happy one. You'll feel content, happiness, and you're going to have long-term stability. So uh, that's your end of your reading. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button and hit the subscribe button and I'll see you very soon in another video. Bye. Hello, group four. So this is your general reading. So I'm going to uncover the first few cards. Okay, so we have the five of cups, the knight of pentacles and the ace of pentacles. So the five of cups indicates a sense of sadness, grief or loss. You feeling unhappy at a certain situation or circumstance and it hasn't really worked out the way that you hoped it would you might have been broke broken hearted you know you might have broken up with somebody where you didn't want the relationship to end but they did or this could mean that you've been denied a job or promotion or you've lost your current job um, you might have had some bad news whatever situation that you're in or it might not have even happened yet um, you're focusing on the neg negative side of things but you need to let this be a time of healing and so that you can move on to a more positive place from a different you know from a positive perspective because this card can indicate that you, you will be dwelling on the past or you're currently dwelling on the past it induces feelings of self-pity and regret and you look back and you know you just feel really guilty for things that have happened so, you know, this card is often going to reflect a person who's caught up in the past and they're just incapable of moving on, moving forward in life. And this means that you're going to miss out on chances of opportunities and good things that are going to happen to you in the future. These changes are hard, um, but they offer a learning opportunity. There's always less to be learned, no matter what happens in life. There's always more to salvage than you initially thought. So with the Knight of Pentacles, this is about daily tasks um, and responsibility that you've gained through a specific project. You might make, you might take time to make decisions um, and you consider things very carefully. You've got patience to accomplish anything and everything that you aim to achieve and other people see you as reliable and also committed. You've got goals in sight and you make sure that you put a plan in place and you get the job done. This card shows that you can achieve goals through determination and perseverance. So you're very determined and, per and a persevered person. So in love, this can suggest that a relationship that's deep and reliable and you would like commitment, more commitment and stability and security than you've currently got. It indicates a partnership, which both of you will be working towards um, your long-term goals together. And then this Ace of Pentacles, Aces always indicate new beginnings. So you will have new money coming in, you'll have a lot of abundance because, you know, this is the suit of Pentacles. And this is, Pentacles are mainly uh, linked to material things. This could manifest into a new career, um, a new adventure, or it could be the start of putting more care into your health. So you'll just end up being abundant in some or all areas of your life. So if you're in a relationship, you are probably feeling that relationship, it will end up giving you stability and security um, and gives you the confidence to take risks and explore more. So in your career, new opportunities are going to be available to you. You can, sh 
You can secure a better job, you'll get promotion, you'll go into a higher position at your existing company, or you'll start a new business venture. So this is a really positive card, which shows that next year, you will have the commitment and stability that you've really worked hard for. So now I'm going to uncover the next three cards. Oh, we've got this one here as well. Okay, so we have the Five of Cups. Again, <laughs> two Five of Cups, wow. Uh, we've got the Seven of Pentacles, and we've also got the Two of Pentacles. Okay, so with the Five of Cups showing again, this shows that you will feel deep sadness and this is going to be a very emotional time for you. Um, you will have a phase of feeling sorry for yourself and living in a negative until you cope with whatever you've, you know, whatever grief or loss that you've gone through. But with the Seven of Pentacles, there are so many pentacles in this, in this reading. <laughs> Um, so this does mean that you're going to have abundance in your health and your wealth and your relationship. So it's always a good sign. So even though your year doesn't start off great because you're in a place of this sadness um, and you've lost someone or something very close to you, you may even be experiencing right now in 2020 in, in your life currently, but things will get better through you, for you throughout this year. Um, so with the Seven of Pentacles, this refers to the end of financial hardship. Um, so if your loss was a job, then you'll end up getting a new job, or you might even decide um, start. You might even decide to start a new business and work for yourself because you know this shows that there's a nurturing phase with this card. So you've been putting time and effort into your work, and it signifies that your efforts will be paying off in the future. So you're not. You're not looking for quick wins, but you're looking for long-term gains. Like I said before, you like commitment, you like stability. So you're planting the seeds here and you're nurturing them. You're going to watch them grow. And it allows you time to assess where you put your time and energy to maximize the output. But be rest assured because your hard work will end up paying off um, next year. So in a love reading, this can be slow to flourish. So for those of you who are single, Long-term friendships could slowly turn into romantic love. So if you are currently really close to a friend, you might end up being in a relationship with them. Um, if you're in a relationship, life together now, it, it might seem tedious or grueling, or you might be going through a little rough patch. You might have some sadness in your relationship currently. Um, perhaps in order to be together, your partnership, it might require working out long-term plans or having some compromises in order to move forward in your relationship. Because the Two of Pentacles, this shows there's a possibility that you're trying hard to keep different aspects of your life in perfect balance. So this could be your career, your finances, your love, your health. Um, you know, it's time for you to take a step back and have a better perspective of the situation because you're trying to juggle everything. You might think it's going to save time multitasking at the beginning, but it's just going to end up worsening your situation. And the Fiverr Cup shows that you need to put time and effort in the areas that are most needed. You need to prioritise. And if you're putting things, other things first and not making an effort in your relationship, this may come in between you and your partner because, you know, they might feel like that you haven't got time for them. So you need to make your partner one of those main priorities in order for your relationship to work because you might end up in the sadness phase again. It will be hard at first to try and juggle everything um, whilst you're in this nurturing phase. But your partner, you know, your partner will understand and just as long as you don't cut them out of everything and just make them feel like they're not wanted anymore and to bring them on with things that are happening, all the things that are happening in your life. And they might even be able to help you to release some of the tasks, to release some of the stress and pressure that you're experiencing. So at work, this will likely be a more hectic time than you would usually experience. And you might even have things dumped on you at the last moment that wasn't supposed to be your responsibility. Or you might have been accepting them in order to because you think you're going to get a better position in the company. But don't take on too much because you will end up burning out. 
you'll put other areas of your life in, in jeopardy. Okay, I'm going to get another card. So this one is Four of Pentacles. Okay, another Pentacles. This one says, I trust I am always safe and protected. Okay, this card represents stability. Again, stability, you really like stability and commitment and stuff. Um, so it represents stability in your finances and your relationships. So just like, where is it? The Knight of Pentacles, you know, it's, it's stability and commitment. And this is where, this card, the Four of Pentacles, this is where your accomplishments actually happen. It's card about feeling settled, feeling secure, you're in control of things and you've finally reached your goals. So you finally get organized. You are not having to juggle everything so much next year. Your relationships will get better. Um, you'll be successful in your career as well and your finances. But this card can also indicate something negative because you might start valuing things only for their material worth because you know obviously you've worked hard to get to the point where you're going to be and it's naturally in your desire to want to be able to remain stable and to keep having that same wealth and health and things but this could also turn into you becoming overly possessive greedy um always wanting to chase because you don't want people to take away your wealth. So you might hoard things, you might not share, you might tighten your belt a bit. Um, so just be weary of that aspect of this card. Now I'm going to move on to the next three cards. This one is no, it says wait, postpone, pause, say no. This one is dance with life, do something to change your energy. And this one is pillar of light, your vibration is rising, you are the oracle. Okay, wow. <laughs> um, okay, these last two are about energy and ensuring that you keep your energy and vibration at a high level because obviously from the pace of how your life's going to go next year, it's going to be very busy, you're going to have a lot of hard work in all areas of your life. So this card's telling you to make sure that you're not constantly on the go and that your energy, you need to keep it high because otherwise it's going to become stagnant. You're going to lose a lot of energy because of all the work you're doing. Um, so don't fall out of al alignment. And with this no card, this is saying that you're being called to either pause or say no to certain things. So you might be taking on too much, like I said before, you know, it could be at work, you're taking on too much work. Um, and because of this, your vibration is being lowered, your energy is being lowered, you're being drained, you're feeling drained, uh, which probably will affect your relationships because you haven't got the energy uh, when you get home from work. Um, so it can just affect all areas of your life. So don't take on too much because it's just going to, it's going to be over, too overwhelming for you. Um, it's okay to say no sometimes that don't feel in alignment with you. So think about your options before making a decision. And if you are feeling a little low, one of the best ways to shift your energy, your frequency and your vibration is to put on some music, to dance, to go for a walk in nature, to take some fresh air, enjoy the, you know, just enjoy the beauty around you. You could even meditate if that's something that you like to do. Just do something, whatever makes you happy because everyone's different, you know, but just make sure that it makes you happy in the moment. Um, and it gets all your feel-good hormones pumping around your body because this is when your energy will shift into a higher frequency. And when your energy shift, this is when you can be more productive and you'll just generally feel better in yourself and you'll end up accomplishing things that you want to. So now I'm going to put down the final two cards. So this is Hidden Depths. This says something hidden is about to come to light. Perhaps a secret or memory at the back of your mind when we ex expose what's hidden, we can become free. And hope, this says, hope is always there, even if we can't see it. Optimistic expectations can help change a negative situation into a positive one. Okay, so, hidden depths. This is saying that it's easier to forget about something that's happened and for you to pretend that everything's fine. 
but this isn't going to solve the problem. It's always going to come back around. So when you're in this grieving stage early on in the year, uh, you need to acknowledge what's happened so that you can start the healing process. You need to feel the emotions, feel the pain that you experience, because this is going to be the only way that you're going to heal from whatever's happened. If you ignore it, if you brush it under the carpet, it's just it's just going to come back around and it's going to hit you even harder than it did the first time around. So, you know, you don't have to do it alone. There's people there that, that are around to support you, to help you uh, through this time. And once you've healed, you'll feel light, you'll feel happier and positive about the future. Um, and then with this hope card, this shows that no matter how tough things are, there's bigger and better things to come. So always stay in hope and have the courage and trust to know that there's something else better out there for you. And it definitely will because of this. You know, this shows that you're going to end up having a really good year. Um, so next year, you're going to be exactly where you want to be in your career, in your finances, in your relationships, in your friendships, in every aspect of your, in most aspects of your life, you're going to be happy and content. But again, be careful to not let su success go too much to your head because you might end up wanting to chase more and more and more and this could lead you to neglecting other areas of your life um, such as your relationship so then you you could end up going into a spiral and going back into this grief stage so just be wary of that but overall you're going to have an amazing year so if you enjoyed this reading then hit the thumbs up and click subscribe if you're not already subscribed to me and i'll see you very soon in another video bye <laughs>